Hello guys, today I'm going to start a new series um, for DaVinci Resolve 16. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I moved uh, away from uh, Adobe Premiere Pro uh, primarily because they just keep making you pay monthly payments of, I think I was paying like 60 bucks a month along with Photoshop. Um, I bought the uh, Blackmagic BMPCC 4K, the Cinema 4K camera, and it actually came free with my camera um, so that's when I started using it and I realized DaVinci Resolve is pretty awesome now you can still use it free um, I think you actually get most of the features free so you can download it here which is great it's pretty much a free tool and if you want uh, like some extra stuff then you can pay $2.99 one-time fee I bought this DaVinci Resolve when it was uh, well it came with DaVinci Resolve 15 Every time it updates, um, it's pretty much you pay once for your lifetime. You can also buy it on Amazon. Anyway, just go ahead and download this. And I'm actually making this video for um, Greg All, who is one of my uh, big supporters. And uh, I'm trying to teach him how to use DaVinci Resolve since this is a free tool. Um, so I'm going to lead you from very scratch. So if you open up DaVinci Resolve, you will see. Uh, uh, ability to make a new project so just type just go to new project and I'm gonna just call it new project right and what I do is I make a project with my settings and I make a, like a template and I save that and then I save it as a different name um, so that way I don't have to set up everything every time so we'll set up this new project and then once it's set up the way you want to um, you want to set it up as something else anyway this is a new project um, the first thing you're gonna need, need to do is uh, go into oh this is a new project go into media obviously you're gonna need clips um, you can make folders here it's called bins so I'm gonna make new bin so you can organize everything so I'm gonna have let's say video uh, video video one all right and also before I forgot to tell you before you do this obviously copy your video files whether you're using a GoPro um, you can use any kind of files um, DaVinci Resolve can be used for any kind of files like including my Sony a7 III or uh, GoPro it works really good for GoPro because it's got some really good easy to use uh, color correcting stuff oops that's my Bitcoin stuff uh, let me go into my high on Android Let's just grab uh, one of the latest videos I just made, uh, which is, can I find it? All right, let, um, let's say uh, Black Friday Android. So you can click or drag, or you can also go through here and find your file. But I've, I've chosen video one, that's my video folder. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag these to um, one of the videos or multiple videos. Oops project settings uh, don't change wait you know what don't change don't change so um, so project settings you're gonna have to set up so you can see that my um, go to project settings this is actually the first thing you should have done go to file project settings and you're gonna have to set up whether it's 4k HD um, so if you're doing HD just just leave it as it is but I'm doing 4k that's why the project didn't match so I'm going to do 3840 by 2160. Um, also set your frame rate. I'm using 30 frames per second. You don't have to mess with most of this. Just leave it alone. And I'll get into uh, more advanced stuff. Um, but for right now, go ahead and hit save. All right, save. And there's my file. Media is where you drag files. All right. So before you begin anything, if you have new media, you add it here. And if you want to make a new folder here, let's say video two, then you can organize it this way. All right. Um, and then when you're ready to edit, we're going to go to edit and we're going to make our first video together. And there's these tabs. Media pool is where you're going to be able to get your videos. All right. You can click it, uh, unclick it All right, to show it, to save space. Um, so I'm going to click it. I'm going to go ahead and click and drag my video anywhere here. All right. Now, um, if you have a slow computer, you can turn on proxy mode, uh, sorry, render cache, set it to smart. This will start creating a bunch of files. Um, it will start caching your files. So 
uh, it will actually automatically make it smoother, faster on a slower uh, computer. Now that folder um, is, is I think defaults to videos under captures. So, uh, or under cache clip. Yeah, see, so it makes all these files. When you're done making your videos, um, these files can become super huge if you're using 4K like me. Just go and delete it after you're done making the videos. That way you can clear out the cache. But this way, uh, so you can see the video I made just now, whereas my T-Mobile phone will not. It's a little laggy because I'm actually recording the screen. I'm actually running off the battery on my laptop um, because I don't want the power cords kind of long. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is you're going to be able to adjust the sound. Um, I set the. I actually am using a different microphone. I'll show you how to sync it. Uh, but for right now, I'll just go ahead and use the microphone here. Now this dial, you can go ahead and easily uh, adjust the volume. Like let's say it's your you your uh, your very low voice and everything stays down here. Try to get it up to the top the uh, this graph to the top as much as possible without actually going over the top. It, it will just not work. I'll have and you'll see the sound now is a lot louder. So the first thing you should do is adjust the sound or sync your sound. That I'll go into another one. Today we're gonna do very simple stuff like cutting and stuff. Um, so to cut, you can go ahead and hit this button here, all right, which is cut, or you can hit B on your keyboard, which I like to do. And let's say you're editing, um, also Control plus and Control minus will control the zoom. I recommend um, learning these tools or if you have a touchscreen computer you can use um, drag like like myself I have, actually have a touchscreen computer now uh, uh, control Z will undo everything or edit undo so know those keys the shortcuts are uh, these shortcuts are very important so uh, when you're just a, a cutting stuff you can go ahead and use B Switch back to HSP8 plus let's say I want to cut the video right after that I'm gonna go use hit B or hit this button and cut it. Now let's say I've, I've, I'm, I'm watching this part and this is all garbage. You can just cut that part out. And then what you're going to do is go ahead and hit A or hit this arrow button, A or that button. Like I said, learn all the shortcuts. That way it's so much easier. You're going to click that clip and hit delete or backspace. I like to use the backspace. All right. And if you want to get this clip together, go ahead and hit enter. Oops, sorry. Go ahead and hit and hit backspace or delete. So now you got rid of that clip. Now there's another easy way to do it, which is the beauty of uh, DaVinci Resolve. You can hit T or this button here, T. And you can simply, let's say you, you want to get rid of this part here. And if you hit T and make sure that arrow is here, not, not like this you can go ahead and just simply drag it. This is why it's so much faster than Premiere Pro. Let's say I want to cut this part, you can do that. Or let's say I want to bring it back while cutting into the other clip, you can do that. Um, this just alone makes video editing so much faster, especially on a laptop when you're not, you don't have a, like a mouse, you're using a touchpad. And, um, so T will allow you sort of just, just get rid of that clip as much as possible. And B will cut it in exact locations. And A will allow you to select clips, All right? I hit A now. You'll see these buttons change up here. So that's the basics of it. And the first thing you will do is just cut the stuff you don't need. Um, you know, whether using B to cut it. So let me show you again, B. So that clip is gone. I'm gonna hit A and click that, delete. And then we put that empty space, delete. Or you can, you can use T. And let's say I'm gonna bring it up here. All right, so go ahead and cut your whole video. And let's say, I'm gonna just, just leave these out because it's gonna to be too long. Let's say I, I'm gonna I'll make it super short. And again, control plus, hit, hold down control and then hit the plus key. You can zoom in real quick or the minus, control minus. Uh, I always use the keyboard keys, but I think you can also do it uh, there's other way, but yeah, that's probably the simplest way. So that's the first thing you're going to learn. And uh, let's say you want to put some uh, titles, then you can go ahead and close out of uh, Media Pool, hit Effects, go to uh, Toolbox, Titles, and go to Text. And you can go ahead and drag this on top here. 
All right, the top part is videos and the bottom part is audio. And you can go ahead and scroll, use the scroll key on your mouse and I'll scroll up if you have more stuff. So I'm just gonna, let's say I want the whole video to have a some kind of uh, my watermark. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open up the inspector, select, select the T uh, after, after it's in the A, A section. So hit A and make sure it's select. Any, anytime you select this clip, um, you wanna you wanna be in that arrow mode or hit A. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the T. I'm gonna go open up Inspector, and let's say my first video. All right, and you can go ahead and change. You can go ahead and select it all. Control A, and let's say my favorite font is Impact. And you can go ahead and drag this and change the size. So let's say I'm gonna make it a little smaller, and I'm gonna go ahead and push this down here all right or put it wherever and you can also manually uh, sometimes uh, click and drag it sometimes it doesn't work well um, then you can use this position to get exactly just sort of fine-tune exactly where you want it so I'm just gonna put it in the middle for this video and you can see now I have a watermark and you can do various stuff I would recommend practicing um, doing a bunch of stuff um, you can change the uh, the angles if you want all right, um, a bunch of stuff. So, so cut your video, put some text, and once you're done, how do you how do you make the final video? So, what you're gonna do is go to delivery on the bottom here. All right, this is a recommended setting setting for anybody new to um, this here. It's super laggy right now because again, I'm I'm on battery. Um, my laptop and it doesn't run at full on my battery. Let me actually grab my power. Barely reaches. Just a little chaotic situation here where it's like my laptop is dangling out there. So here, uh, delivery is where you're gonna make the final stuff. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and hit browse here. And I like to make a dedicated directory. It's going to be under C. I made a new directory called zero out. I put zero in front of the folder, so it's always on top when I alphabetize it. And let's say I'm going to name it a uh, new project. All right. And recommend the settings for YouTube uploading or in general, uh, MP4, choose MP4. And it should choose H.264 native. And resolution, set your resolution. Uh, whether 1080p or 4k like me make sure um, to choose the same frame rate as the way you can record it but otherwise you might get stutter uh, quality don't set it to best you might get like super huge files for 4k I recommend about 45,000 for the highest quality you can you can play with this number for uh, 1080p you can do like 6,000 should be good enough but I'm doing 4k so I'm gonna do 42,000 I'm gonna hit uh, add to render queue. This will show up on the right side, and uh, it will render. So I'm gonna hit start render, and it will show you how long it takes. All right, so for a five minute video, it should be much faster. But again, I'm actually screen recording this in 4K using XSplit, so that's why it looks longer. But it's still fast enough. And when this is done, you'll go to uh, the folder that you chose, let's say out, and you get the uh, MP4 file. And you can go ahead and upload that to, to YouTube, um, whatever. And you can go ahead and uh, make a bunch of different type of files, maybe make 4K, 1080p, maybe 720p for Instagram and Twitter. That way you can sort of make one video and make it for a lot of different social media platforms. Um, but I just showed you how to, the ba just really basics of using um, DaVinci Resolve. Next time we'll get into something like um, syncing audio, <coughs> also adjusting the color. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know. Um, so the color, the color grading on this is way better than Adobe Premiere, uh, a lot easier to use. Um, so I'll get into that and this will allow you to whether you're an expert or you don't have to be doing like super crazy color grading <clears throat> but you see how my 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 uh, subject here is very dark and the background is very bright 
we can easily fix it in like five seconds with this uh, DaVinci Resolve. So I, I really love it, highly recommend it if you guys are thinking about it. Um, definitely try out the free version. I think the free version is all you need. It's pretty much free. It's way better than Premiere Pro. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And when this renders out, you'll have a file. I'm just not going to do it right now because it's, it's going to take another five, ten minutes. And I don't want to keep you guys here. Um, so this is going to be my very first, uh, obviously, a tutorial. But I'll make it into a series. Um, so stay tuned, guys. And uh, I hope you guys learned something new. And yeah, Greg, um, I hope um, make your first video, cut it. Now you know you know how to edit it. Make a full video, upload it. I want to see your progress. You're gonna be my my first student. <laughs> and hit the thumbs up. And I'll make more of these. Bye.